I am going to show you why your URLs are redirecting after you change them in WordPress. If you're using What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with Data Driven Design. Welcome to the WordPress show. I am going to show you why your URLs are redirecting after you change them in WordPress. If you're using a plugin that I use called Redirection, which is a phenomenal way to implement 301 redirects whenever you've redesigned your website, or if you want to have a vanity URL that redirects to a particular page, not have to continue to build pages over and over again, you can use 301 redirects in redirection. But redirection has a feature where if you change a URL, it will automatically create a redirection for you. Now this is good because it's avoiding broken links for you, but it can be bad if you're trying to access a page and it keeps redirecting you to another page and you can't figure out why that's happening. So let me show you this test page that I've created. Now the URL should be test. The, the URL slug is test, okay? So if we view the test page, we can see it's taking me to slash test. But if we go edit the page, change the slug to testing, and then update it, now we'll view our page and it'll say slash testing. But let's go back and change it to test. Now this may happen to you and you might be confused as to the result. So if we change the URL slug back to test, see it automatically creates a redirect from testing to test. Now, if we try to go to test, it's gonna work, but if we create a new page called testing, it's gonna redirect that page to test because it automatically created a redirect here in redirection. So let's try this. We're gonna create a new page called testing and the URL slug is gonna show as testing. So you would think that this would take you to the new page that you've created called testing. But when you click view page, it redirects you to test. So what you'll have to do in this scenario is delete the 301 redirect. Once you've deleted the 301 redirects, you can refresh your page. And once you refresh your page, you should be able to access the new page that you built called testing. Once you've deleted the redirect, cleared your cache, you can see your new page. So redirection creates an automatic redirect for you when you change the URL slug of a page. And if you get into a situation where you create a new page with that same URL, and now it's redirecting to the old page and you don't want that to happen, you just have to go in, delete the redirect, and that should help you. Thanks for watching the WordPress show. I'm Paul Higgy with Data Driven Design. For more free WordPress tips, go to thewordpressshow.com or datadriven.design. And to do business with me, email me at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks and have a great day.